How's it going, comrades? I hope you're having a lovely day. Are you having a lovely day, man? Man, H, I'm having a glorious day. All right, guys, we have a lot to share today because I feel like we have recently hit a milestone in our quest for health, our vegan journey, and you know, we just want to share it with you guys. And basically, the short form is that we are going to be going raw till four. Yep, that's right. The Light Twins are going to be eating cooked foods after four and we just couldn't be happier about it and here's why yeah we're finding that it really just works best for our lifestyle right now waking up with fruits in the morning eating fruits all day fruits at lunch bananas pears you know plums oranges apples i mean whatever you can get in it works very well for the start of the day but then at the end of the day i'm honestly like i'm just craving a couple thousand calories and i'm like where am i going to get these thousand calories from and Considering I've already eaten fruit all day, I'm just thinking, you know, what can we get? And just the, uh, a cooked meal after about 4 to 6 o'clock is just working so well for us. Because as you loyal subscribers know that Jay and I, we do believe in a backup plan. Meaning, meaning when you can't afford all the raw fruits and vegetables because let's face it, earth can leave you a little light in the pockets and you don't really want to be starving yourself just to live by a label. So Jay and I always would recommend having a bag of rice or a bag of potatoes around just to substitute just in case because let's just remember we're trying to be healthy and starving yourself is never is never the answer and we've been finding that we've been having the, the backup plan or every time we do have the backup plan we just feel fantastic off of it really full really nourished and when we go fully raw i just feel kind of hollow at the end of the night not to saying it's a bad thing but you know i just feel really satisfied on the days that we use the back the backup plan and uh and, and uh, actually, right around this time, um, Freely and Duran Rider, what's up, guys? We love you. Um, right around this time, you guys actually came out with the Raw Till 4 movement, and uh, I was looking into it, and that really kind of um, kind of reassured us and really gave us positive uh, uh logic to ourselves because we trust what you guys have to say i mean we've been following you guys for a long time and uh just knowing that you guys have been raw for over 10 years and now you're having the cooked uh foods and you guys are feeling fantastic off of it as well just really reaffirmed to us that it was really the right move for us because at the end of the day i trust my heart i trust my i trust i trust i trust myself to know when i feel great and when i don't and uh, that was definitely the move for us. I mean, and being six foot six, being a big guy, I need to eat at the end of the day. I mean, I've been eating fruits all day, but I still need a couple extra thousand calories at the end of the day. And I am not, and no, I don't have thousands of dollars in my bank account. So, I, I mean, eating thousands of calories worth of fruit is just, it just, it's just not an option right there. So, so you know, rice, potatoes, cooking up two cups of rice, you're like, you know, like six pounds of potatoes just substitutes thousands of calories. And these calories are so, well, we have been finding the calories are so healthy for us, we cannot gain an extra pound. Yeah, and I just really want to say that, I mean, we're not at any way bashing a fully raw vegan lifestyle. I mean, we're still eating mostly raw and we love it. There's nothing that's ever going to stop me from that. And I just don't really want to get the message out there like we're saying, don't be raw vegan, you have to go raw till four, or do this and do that. No, do what works for you. If your body thrives being fully raw, I mean, all the power to you. Eat it all up, it's all there. And I, well, we really believe that you can eat as much fruits, vegetables, rice and potatoes as you want and you'll never gain a pound. So I just want to say that we're not like saying no to this and no to that. We're always just trying to find what works for us. So if you're fully raw, I mean, all the props to you. We love you and just, oh, uh, when we're saying you can't gain a pound, I mean, we, you can't gain an unwanted pound. I mean, we have gained uh, 40 pounds eating these foods, but you cannot go overweight. It's just impossible. I mean, I probably eat up to 5,000 calories a day fruits, vegetables, rice, potatoes, and, I, and, and my body just stays at its natural weight. So, but uh, if you do want to go, if you do want to lose weight really fast, I would recommend just going totally raw. Only eating fruits and vegetables, you will lose all the weight so fast. I mean, and that's why I feel that the raw vegan Lifestyle was perfect for us for the first year. I mean, we, we, we didn't cook any food for for like at least 14 months or something like that. And then it was only after our appetite had grew so much 
that we started incorporating the backup plan. Well, uh, the backup plan we called it at, at, at the time, but then now we're calling it Raw Raw Tail Four. So we were using the backup plan so much and just and just just to get those extra calories in because our because because uh, after 14 months in the detox was over, we went from 250 pounds. All the way down to 150, and then bounced, and then we're now at about 190 pounds. And well, being at 190 pounds, the, uh, my appetite grew so much, and, and it was back. And, and and not having, you know, it was about if we want to go totally raw, it's about 800 dollars a month for us. And that's just, you know, I mean, that's just, it's just, it's, it's not, it's not. I don't want to spend all my money, you know. I kind of want to pay bills and uh, pay bills and uh, other things. So the backup plan, just like, uh, I mean, a bag of potatoes, three ninety nine. You can buy seventeen kilos, a kilo bag of rice for like thirty dollars, and that just worked really good after we got our appetite back from going raw vegan. So the, I would not take back a thing because the raw vegan thing was a perfect detox for our bodies. And now since we've been through the detox and now our body has has rebuilt itself on plants and fruits and vegetables is now that the cooked foods just don't hurt me at all and now I just gotta say, gotta say one more thing from not eating a cooked meal for 14 months having like a like oh my, like like a tomato sauce with all my favorite vegetables just swimming in there just having a little party then throwing in a bunch of uh, rice or potatoes tell them Jay tell oh, them Jay right. and then you can even if you want to go crazy and throw in some beans a can of lentils tell them Jay black beans stir it all up in your rice and potato oh man then you sit there for like 40 minutes eat a 7 pound bowl of food oh is that satisfying mm. Jay you just went off right there my man mm. and I love it Jay mm. and it in and yeah, exactly. I just want to say that, like, the general can, like, I mean, the mainstream thinks that a vegan lifestyle is just restrictive and, and you don't get to eat anything anymore. I'll tell you, right now, just like my man was saying, you go raw for over a year, you get that detox phase off of you, you go back to eating cooked foods, it's just like the door just went, boosh, Pandora's box, here's variety, here it is, eat all you want, and it's going to love you. And, okay. I'm yelling again, Jay. All right, let's slow back down a little bit. Let's bring it back down to a, a conversation level. I get a little excited. It's exciting time. It's exciting time. It's very exciting. So, it is a, so I just wanted just to say that 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 also to that with the door opening up in the variety, I think that it's um, I mean, we are building this YouTube channel to help. Uh, other people go vegan to help save themselves, the planet, the animals, the environment, the world. And we think that in general, it's a lot more people, it's a lot easier for people to, uh, to uh, relate to a vegan lifestyle rather than a raw vegan lifestyle as a transition because people are just thinking it's restrictive, restrictive of this. But if you show them that there's just, I mean, we all know that you can make amazing vegan cooked meals. I could just go off and make a list of it. In fact, we probably should, but you, there's so many you, you can have that you can make it as an easier transition as possible. And we really want as many people as we can to find it. We have made some uh, some vegan food for some of our friends and they don't even, and they don't the even- man's a little excited. You know, excited, that's right guys. And they don't even know that it's healthy or or, or they don't even know no, you're exactly no, right. No, 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 first of all, I don't even know it's healthy, but it's so tasty and they don't even know there's no meat, cheese or dairy in it. No, and then, and not only that, there really needs to be something to be said about the satisfaction of, of, of eating a cooked meal. Like, really, how could you feel when you eat, at the end of the day, like, I would never recommend eating starches and stuff in the mornings because it's going to, I mean, it's going to be hard to keep you zippy and pippy all day. But I mean, when you're at nighttime and it's time to relax a little bit, carb up, you know. I mean, you just feel so satisfied. Whereas, like, I remember being raw a little bit. I kind of felt hollow a little bit here and there. And it's just, I mean, I really feel like it's like back in the meat eating days again. Back when I was eating whenever I wanted, I used to get this huge feeling of like, okay, I'm done eating. I'm like, I'm full. And now I can get that all over again. And it's really like, I mean, does if vegan being vegan wasn't awesome it just keeps getting easier and easier and i really want to get this point to you the bottom of my heart as long as, as long as you can get used to this lifestyle it just keeps getting better better and better and i keep feeling better and better and better and this is the great thing with it you get to stuff your face the whole time i mean being vegan is not restrictive you just you get to eat all you want and stay in perfect shape always have a six pack always always be toned up always your muscle always has endurance 
And I just want to say as another point, like, it's not a competition between vegans and raw vegans. I mean, we're on the vegan team. If you're on team vegan, you know, W for the win. W-I-N, guys. I, I, I mean, we can't, when all of us get together, we're going to move mountains. And, and if we spend time fighting with each other, it's just, you know what I mean? Let, let's just spread the word and just the compassion that's behind this message, which is you're not hurting animals, you're helping the environment, you're helping everybody, including yourself. Absolutely. No, that is a very good point. And also, I would like to say that um, that that you want to be like, I believe we're all made of body, mind and soul. And uh, when you're healthy for your body, I mean, something, something about the satisfaction of getting those cooked meals that really just stimulates your mind and just let, allows you to relax. Kind of. I mean, it's kind of hard to describe it, but I can, uh, you know, and also you know, some things are activated when hot, like certain teas, mm. certain, certain herbs, when you dip them in the water and it pulls the, pulls the nutrients out, I mean, it's activated with the hot water. Like elixirs and stuff. Yeah, no, exactly. So some things, uh, we're still looking uh, more into it, but I mean, some things can be beneficial. If anyone knows of any special beneficial cooked foods, put them in the comment box and let, let us know, please. Yeah, I, I mean, I've grown up my whole life knowing that there's healthy teas and herbal remedies, and you know what, there just there might, there has to be some really good benefits to all that. And, uh... And I, but still, once again, I just want to say we're not bashing the raw vegan lifestyle all day. We're gonna the raw wait. vegan lifestyle is the way to go. For the first year, I recommend going raw vegan. Just to flush all the meat, the dairy, the gluten, just everything in your body. Just flush it out so, so your body can rebuild. Absolutely. And but not without every single morning, we're gonna be having our fruit, banana smoothies, every single orange morning, juice. every single lunch. And not only that, even if like the the raw till four is just a label. Even if like. Even if I, I wasn't going to be doing all that, I would still never, ever, ha I mean, not ever, that's never say never, but I would, nor I would not desire to have cooked foods in the mornings or for lunch because for me, I have, to, I have to listen to my body and my body just thrives off eating beautiful fruit for the morning, having fruit for lunch all day. I'm zippy, pippy, no matter what, I'm not held back. I really feel light and lean. I mean, like before anyone would do a marathon or any kind of like really physical competition, you would never have a big starchy meal. You're gonna want to have maybe a date water or like just drink a bunch of water, really. Just really, or some fruit. You know, some light fruit, because that's what's gonna keep you ready. It's gonna keep you energized. It's gonna keep you lean. And uh, yeah, I really wanted to get that point across. No, it's perfect. And also, I just want to say, guys, we gotta drink tons of water. Water is the key. Just drink water and pure juices, and you'll be ready to go. So that's it guys, we're going to be keeping this up with live streams, we're going to be just give us your comments and questions, we're going to be making videos all the time, let us know which videos you want, we're going to make them. Yeah, we're just super excited because the journey never stops, it always continues, we always want to be honest with you guys because honesty is the best policy, information is power, we're not saying what works for us is going to work for you, what works for you is going to work for us, but general just... Like, it's good to get samples and just to know what's working for other people. And it's just, let's always keep it honest. Let's keep it vegan. We're vegans for life. That will never change. That is some lines I will cross and some labels I will not. That is one definitive spot I will never cross. Vegan for life. Rock tail four. For the win. Vegan for the animals. Vegan for the planet. Vegan for, for the life. life. <laughs>